Well, our next guest is a cookbook author, mom, entrepreneur, and she says on her blog that it's just before noontime. Diane Gardner is author of this book, What's Cooking in New England? She's here to share one of the recipes in that book today. Welcome back, Diane. Good to have you. Uh, thank you so much for having me back. I'm so excited to be here again. So for people who don't know you, What's okay. Cooking in New England is such a great cookbook because it's very different. It is everything New England. It is. It's, um, it's an awesome collection of recipes from my travels throughout New England where I went around, I talked to everyone. I talked to little moms and grandmothers sitting in coffee shops. I stopped at cheese markets and fish <sighs> markets and just any place that I saw that looked interesting. And I talked to people and I collected their recipes and their traditions. And this is the end product. It's compiled in that one book. And Absolutely. I asked her earlier, everybody, I said, what's your favorite in there? And she was like, <gasps> What's your favorite oh, recipe? Okay, I have a couple of favorites. Okay. One of my favorites is from New Hampshire, and it's a beef barley soup um, with vegetables, oh. and it is amazing. It is so healthy and so good for you, and it's become a favorite of my kids. Why is that one so um, much? So much your favorite? Is it just because it's, it's hearty? It's hearty, and in the winter, it's just like the perfect soup to make. It's more like a stew. It's almost it's really thick, and it's oh. just delicious. Okay. And barley is so good for you. It is. And, and all my kids eat it now. I like that. So it's really it's it's one of my favorite recipes. Ah, oh, all right, all right. You're going to be teaching okay. us. Another one of the recipes yes. in the book. What is this one? All right, today we are going to make orzo with a smoked turkey, bacon, and buttermilk dressing. Ooh. Really, really simple and easy. Now, I've done a few things in advance, okay. but I'm still going to put you to work a little bit. All right. So I cooked the orzo. Orzo is like a, I call it, it's Italian pasta, but it's like a fat, it's like a fat rice. Um, very, very easy. So you just cook mm. this according to the package, you know, on the package. Okay. So I think it's like eight to ten minutes. And then you put it on a sheet and you let it cool. Okay which I've already done that step. It's ready to go. Okay. All right. My bacon, I fried in advance. We're going to chop the bacon. Gotcha. I'm the I went to the deli, and I just buy the smoked turkey breast, and I get them to cut it in a nice thick piece. Okay. And we're going to chunk that, and we're going to put it right into the orzo. Okay. Okay? I like that. And it is it really thick, Diane. Yeah, it okay. is. It's really Perfect. thick. So I'm okay. going to put this right here. Up. You got that? I got okay. that. All right. And I'm going to put that in. Watch we're out, Diane. I might take a finger out That's here. That's all right. We'll put that in the orzo, too. So we got the bacon going, and then we have scallions. We're going to put the scallions in. All right. Look at your chopping now, that bacon. Now, where is this particular recipe from? This is from Woodstock, Vermont. There is a small little farmer's market there that just has fantastic food. Um, and they have very interesting recipes, really, really good stuff. Um, and this happens to be, I mean, you guys are going to love this. Oh. Now, is there I, any secrets that we should know about this particular recipe that make it better the way that you've kind of done it? You know what? I try to stay true to the recipe because that's, I mean, this is how they prepare it. Okay. And so what they do is once you have your cook, everything has to be cool in order to combine it together, which is why you cook your orzo in advance. Right. It needs to be cool. You chop everything. You throw it in. Ooh. We have frozen peas. You take a cup of peas. You let them fall. Okay. And you just put that in. Now, this is ready. Now, all we That's have to it? do, well, we have to make our dressing. Okay. So now I'm going to stir this up. You stir that up. We're going to make a buttermilk dressing, which I've already pre-put my mayonnaise in, which is about a cup and a half. Cup and a half and of mayonnaise. And then we're going to do some buttermilk. We are just going and forward over here, Diana. Yeah. Okay, mayonnaise and then heavy cream, everybody. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, but I did do light mayonnaise. Okay, today. light mayonnaise. Okay, I there you go. I do use light mayo. But right. you got to have the buttermilk. Oh, buttermilk. And then I've minced up my garlic in advance about... About a tablespoon or a little more. Okay. So that's all ready. We're just going to pop that in. And this is something that's fairly easy to make, isn't it? Oh, it's it? so simple, and you are going to love this. This is great, especially with spring in the air. Oh, I'm like, this yeah. is the perfect, the perfect thing to make. Okay. Then we're going to put a little Tabasco in. Um, I think the recipe calls for, I want to say it was like maybe two teaspoons. Okay. So a few shakes. All right. You know, to taste. And then Hungarian paprika. A little paprika. Just a little splash of that. Okay. And then, of course, your salt and your pepper. And I asked you earlier about recipes because you are working on another cookbook, Diane. Yes, I am. Number and you four. said that anytime anyone submits recipes to your website, what's cooking in newengland.com, you give credit and it appears in your cookbook if you like it and you've tested it. Absolutely. So if you want if you want to submit a recipe for the next cookbook, you can just go to what's cooking in newengland.com. And there is a section where you can actually go on and put your recipe in, give me your story, your tradition, and I will make it. How great is that to read about some of those traditions, though, oh, that, you know, that's been passed down from, like, generation to generation? Yes.
Yeah, it's so true. And then you're true. trying it. It's so true, and it's so much fun. And you know what? It's a great thing to. Oh, there oh, I there go, splashing go. the dressing. Um, fun. It's a great thing for the people that they have it in print. Absolutely. You know, they have their history in print, and they love it. And everyone loves to share their recipes. It's just not, you know. It's just it's fun. Yeah, it is. Okay, so this is a consistency we want to go for. We right. want it creamy. Yeah, you want a creamy dressing. Okay. Okay, so this That's is it. it. That's it. You so know, this now, is what's so great. Your stuff is so user friendly. It's so it's easy. You know, is it a little bit complex? I'm sure to some people it may be, but it's something that I think any of us can make, right? Any, yeah, anybody can make that. Look, I mean, we just made a beautiful salad. Oh, it's gorgeous. Let's plate this up. In the meantime, everybody, if you want to try this recipe for yourself, I'm telling you right now, Diane's going to have this recipe on our website. All you have to do is go to WTNH.com, click on Connecticut Style, and it'll be there for you. Oh, no, Ooh, you got to look at this so gorgeous good. salad. Amazing. That is beautiful. Look at this. Can we can we show oh, this off a little bit? Yes, we can. Oh my goodness. <gasps> How beautiful is that everybody? Oh my goodness. All right, coming up next, it's Dr. Langton. He's discussing natural breast augmentation when Connecticut Style returns. So we're both gonna stick around for that. Yes, yeah, all good. right. Oh, thank yeah. you. We'll be right back, everybody. This is beautiful. I'm gonna put it somewhere.